Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your August 24th through the 27th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you the 24th through the 27th of the month. Hope you guys are having a great month so far. Almost over. Sorry, some of these readings are getting out late. I have a new job, so I have to try to go to work and do these at the same time. So let's see what's going on. Tower moment. Ooh. Ouch. 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 Okay, my friends. Oh, my goodness. Okay, having a tower moment. Let's see why you're having a tower moment. Things are collapsing around you. But it's okay because it's just time to rebuild. That's all it is. It's telling you get inspired and rebuild on wherever you're having this problem. Uh, waiting for somebody to offer you something. You're waiting for something. Definitely waiting for something. Wow. For some of you, it could even be a tower moment within a relationship. You might be getting a divorce. For others of you, it's just keeping the faith alive. Um, I will be bring, bringing up both because I see money and relationship. It could even be a money-related relationship um, to why you're having a problem within your love relationship for some of you. Um, you start losing money. Sometimes it makes hardships on our relationship and makes us all fight. Um, we need to let go of that situation. There is something that you're going to let go of. If it's just a financial area over here, it is looking like you are looking for someone who is supposed to be offering you something and it has not come through. Um, trying to get your intuition open. Um, trying to intuitively prepare is what it looks like for a new beginning to happen and a new cycle to happen, um, something that would be on better luck. The magic is not happening toward the 27th, so it doesn't look like it is coming through, so it looks like you might be giving up on the situation with the death card. So, and if it is a love relationship, it looks like you guys are kind of folding in and kind of giving up on that situation of reconciliation at this time. Um, on the Ten of Pentacles, I see the loss of money. So there is definitely a loss of money going on over here. I do see that no matter what. And that could be what's affecting the relationship. I definitely see that. Um, bad news coming in with the Knight of Coins. And this is because you don't see that. So it does look like for a lot of you, the conclusion that you're going to end up having is to let go of the situation where there is no victory of them coming through. Um, it looks like if you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Knight of Cups for me is a Scorpion card. Um, then we have Scorpio down here with the Death card as well. So we're going to call this person Scorpio. If you're looking for them to give some kind of resolution to the situation, it looks like it's not going to happen. They're fence-sitting the situation. Uh, with the Magician, there's no magic with the King of Wands. So your energy is coming through, which is very frustrating. Um, it does look like there could be trying to manipulate the situation a little bit on your side. Um, that would be just like kind of pulling strings, um, trying to understand the situation, getting more knowledge about the situation, um, trying to do anything you can kind of in the books to make things kind of pop over here. But the perception of moving forward, there's no real outlook over here of how you're going to really do this with the king of, or with the, oh my gosh, the page of pentacles. There's a lot of irresponsibility on somebody else's side to be able to move forward. They keep dropping the ball. Look, if they're not giving to what they need to be giving to and they're not wanting the resolution to the situation, then in your eyes you're going to see them as continuing to keep dropping the ball. Um, so they definitely are dropping the ball. There is, for some of you who would, on the love relationship area, remember if that's not good for you, you can throw that away, but it's definitely showing that there is no getting together within this situation. Uh, the faith is very concerning over here as you're becoming fully aware that they're kind of letting this go. They want to argue the situation more than they want to do anything, and you're losing faith within the situation. It's looking hopeless to have the love and the connection that you're looking for in the magic uh, with the Knight of Swords. There will be a time, though, that you are going to get back to moving forward within this situation. Ugh. There's no victory within that situation, but you do have the Nine of Coins. 
So it does look like within the tools that you have within yourself, you're going to be able to, at least on the money side, be able to move and um, find new things that you're looking for to try to uh, work things out on that area. So for instance, if you know you lost a job, you'll be going out looking for a new job. You see what I'm saying? Things like that. So on the money issue, you're definitely going to be pulling some strings on that area and holding tight. A lot of you, you might have some saved money that you're actually holding tight to. Um, and that might be what you're actually using at this time is more saved money than normal money if you have no money coming in which looks like it's starting to deplete itself a little bit as well. It is worrisome, um, but you will continue to find what it is that you need, but you do have the overall message for the reading is Tower Moment. Wow. Okay, guys, so we have the Two of Wands, though. So there is going to be directions that you're going to have to really look at for this situation. Okay, so there is definitely other things that you can look at to help you along the way. And then, of course, once again, you have the Page of Swords again, which is in the middle of the reading, which is the understanding and the knowledge of what is going on within the situation. So for some of you, if you're looking for the reconciliation within the relationship, plus trying to get the job, then the Two of Wands is really going to come in handy for the knowledge and understanding of the situation. Your person could be definitely a Libra or a Scorpio or a Gemini okay, that you're dealing with. Um, but definitely there is going to be a lot of things you're going to have to do. Some of you might even know that you have to go back to school with the Page of Swords to get re-educated um, in something um, maybe to make more money or just have a new career choice. So, okay. Or there's, you know, or just get into something else, um, make new deals, new offers somewhere else until this other person either pulls through with the, the Knight of Cups either stops fence sitting and does what they're supposed to do. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to, but you're definitely going to have to think about what it is you're going to do. Those of you who are in jobs where you make contracts, things of this nature, you might have to go out looking for new contracts to make more money um, instead of just paying attention to the one person. Okay. Because that's what it's, it's talking about. This will actually be more satisfactory to you um, in the end with the Four of Wands because um, it'll actually open up new passionate doors and new opportunities for more money, more jobs, things of that nature. But there's definitely going to have to be some patience to the situation um, because it's definitely not something that's going to happen overnight, my friends. Okay. And for those of you who it's just a love relationship and you know that this is all going awry, um, you're definitely going to have to make some decisions on how you're going to have to communicate with this person and then, you know, figure out how you're going to uh, get back to either being united as one or are you actually going to separate. We won't know that just yet because this is only from the 24th to the 27th. So for now, though, there will be a little bit of stress um, within you. Um, just make sure you guys are meditating and trying to relax as much as possible and really use your discernment and your intuition um, to the situation. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.